horrible holidays. Last year, we decided to go to Wales for our summer holidays. It was a disaster. Why? What happened? Everything started well. We booked online at a campsite. We travelled by train to Cardiff and then by bus to the site, ten miles away. We arrived on Monday at tea time, but there wasn't anybody in the office. I phoned and texted the manager, but nobody answered, so we waited for two hours. Finally, somebody turned up. I think it was the assistant manager. I complained to her and she apologised, but she wasn't very nice. We started to put our things into the tent, but it started to rain. It rained every day for a whole week and never stopped. On Friday, we packed and called a taxi to take us to the station. But the driver didn't arrive on time and we missed the last train. We tried to find a hotel or a B&B &B in the town. We looked everywhere, but everything was full or closed. So we ended up in an all-night cafe and stayed there until the morning. How awful! Did you ask for a refund? No, because I didn't want to make a fuss. What about you? How was your holiday? It was very tiring, actually. I visited my parents-in-law, who live in Plymouth. My wife wanted to walk or cycle along Drake's Trail. She cycled 20 miles each day and I worked in the garden. So we both need another holiday to recover from our holiday. I don't know anybody in Plymouth. I think Margaret has something to tell you. Somebody called you, but I don't know who. I don't want anything to eat. I'm not hungry. Nobody answered the phone because the office was closed. The shops were closed and there was nothing to do.